Yad e Dinea Masan Inishle. This is Navajo Grandma on a road trip to take you out into nature and show you this time the Chief Chen bush, which is the sumac berries, and it's called Chief Chen in Dine or in Navajo, the land Navajo language. Usually they, these grow nearby uh, running water. If you can hear in the background, you can kind of hear the stream. Look at all these chichin berries. Look at this. Mother Nature has already dried them for me, and I'm just picking them. Look at the water that feeds us and nourishes this chichin bush. The chichin. See, I'm just kind of going through this with you. Look at that. And they're kind of sticky. You can kind of see some je jello on it still. They're in clusters. Mother Nature's already dried them for me and I didn't have to lay them out, but I will wash them and you can at that point blend them and make the Navajo uh, pudding. So I'm going to show you really quick. I usually just tap these very easily. I tap this and these just fall off. And that's why I love picking the chief chin at this time of year. Now there's 250 different sumac species. They, they kind of look different, but these have these type of leaves. They're th the three leaves. And I remember when I grew up with my little friend, they'd say, oh my gosh, you're eating poison ivy. And I just chew them down and they just, look at me like I was crazy, but they were sour and they were wonderful. As we progress in this video, you will see how, how I clean it and how we're gonna make the pudding. Yum, wish you were here. I want you to see the chichen that I was able to gather out in the mountains. And notice the leaves, I'm going to be cleaning this. So, a lot of cleaning. Here is the end result of my cleaning. I just wanted to show you how beautiful the chief chin is that, that I was able to pick in the mountains uh, and went on that road trip with you. And look how beautiful and just lovely. Then what I've done is I've used a coffee grounder and I ground this. And if you can tell, now it's ready for the pudding. I also wanted to show you, uh, this is the vine of the chichin. And if you notice how long and beautiful it is, this is what is used by the Diné people, Navajo, by the Diné people to make uh, baskets and isn't this beautiful? This is my great-great-great-grandmother's uh, wedding basket when she got married. And it is old. If you can tell, it's cracking. But they use uh, tree gum and fill all these uh, in. And basically, you can drink water out of it after. These are horse... This is horse hair. They, they put as... Uh, handles and you can tell it is a very old old basket but I treasure this and so these are you know you can make baskets I wanted just to show you from the chichen branches now on to making the pudding here is the chichen in the coffee grinder now we are going to proceed to grind and a half a cup of chief chin it's important you grind the seeds with this look how beautiful it is all ground. Oh, it smells lovely. 
I am now in the process of making the Chief Chin pudding. So here are the ingredients. We have a half a cup of flour. We have a half a cup of Chief Chin. Look how beautiful and rich. And we're going to mix it in a bowl. Very simple. This is a small serving. Okay, so look at this, beautiful. You can add as much sugar as you want, okay? To taste or whatever. I'm just adding him the amount that I measured. Now I'm mixing this up. If you can see how beautiful. Okay, so it's pretty well mixed. All the dry ingredients. If you can see, beautiful. And you need to make sure the lumps, no lumps are in there. That's why I use a spoon like this. Now we are going to put two cups of water in a bowl. We have two cups of water boiling, okay? So now we're going to mix the chief chin in here. And it's mixing. And the flour, when you mix the flour with the chief chin, that's what thickens it. That's a thickening agent. You, you don't want to use wet, wet uh, chief chin. It'll be sticky and you don't want that. Okay, so i got to mix that really well. See, that's why the strainer type of spoon is good so that you can make sure that it's not lumpy because when you put it in the hot water you'll end up getting more lumps and that's not the idea of this can you see that just beautiful now we're going to move on to the next step now that the water is boiling you can see the beautiful chief chin and the flour and the sugar we pour this in here and as the water boils Beautiful, beautiful pudding we're going to make here. And you have to keep stirring. Stir really well. Just make sure. That's why I have that strainer-like uh, spoon that I mix it with. When you let it boil, it'll start to get thick. Now it's not going to get thick, super thick. Now we're doing this out in nature. Nasa Nihima. That's what called Mother Nature. You can do this at home, of course, in your kitchen, but you know, I like to keep things natural. It's funner to cook out in nature, and we love that. And I like to sing while I'm mixing. It's starting to thicken, it'll start to get like pudding, and oh, it's lovely. Yummy and lovely. And it's called chi chen not chi chen or chill chen it's chi chen i hope i'm not spitting into the <laughs> in the pudding but has a sound to it when i go down to new mexico you'll see people selling this on the side of the road and blue corn mush is another treat if you cannot have sugar if you're diabetic or whatever, add a tablespoon or so, or not even use sugar. You, you don't just let it boil on its own. You have to keep stirring because you don't want it to become thick and yucky down at the bottom and pretty soon you'll have a mess. That's not what you want. See, I feel it getting thicker. This is fun. Now, even no matter what, you just keep stirring. Patience is a virtue. A long time ago, you had the grinding stones and you ground these sumac berries. Nowadays, it's coffee grinder. Almost done. It's taking a little longer because we are doing this over the briquettes, not on a stove. Okay, it's time to put it in a cup and I'm going to be the taste tester. How's that? Now, we have finished the pudding. So this is the recipe. 
Now, oh, Grandma, let's try this. Mmm. Said Connie. Mmm. The con, the con means wonderful. It's, it tastes good. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh, I wish you were here. Yum. Mmm. Always the most wonderful, healthy treat. So, for now, this is Grandma Amasana, Dinette Amasana, Navajo Grandma, signing off. And remember how you say goodbye just for a while. Hagornat. And I will see you again. Please subscribe. I love your comments. You are so awesome. I wish you were here with me. Maybe one day I might run into you. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of my pudding. And um, see you later.